One of the more popular latte drinks in the menu of most coffee shops is Spanish latte. In fact, it is a staple drink in most of Percent Arabica shops, which is a global franchise that came from Japan. What makes Spanish latte different from a regular latte? It is the use of condensed milk. So they use sweetened condensed milk to sweeten the drink. The ingredients for Spanish latte are very simple. You need your coffee beans. For this recipe today, I am going to use a coffee beans from the Philippines, from Mount Apo. This is 100% Arabica Philippine coffee, medium roast coffee beans, single origin, and this is courtesy of Barista Loft in Tagaytay. We also need fresh milk. For this milk, I'm going to use Meiji. You can use any brand that you have available to you. And for the condensed milk, I am going to be comparing different brands. Does it matter what brand of condensed milk you use for Spanish latte? That's what we are going to find out today. Today is a requested video tutorial. I've been asked to compare different brands of condensed milk when making Spanish latte. We are going to make iced Spanish latte in 16 ounces cups. I am going to pull two shots of espresso using 18 grams of my coffee beans and pulling 50 to 60 grams of espresso. So I have here three double shots of espresso to compare the taste among the three different brands of condensed milk and then we are going to ask Christiana to help us in the taste testing. Let's take a closer look at each of these brands. This is Jersey which comes in 390 grams and the cost is about 37 pesos. This is Cowbell which comes in lesser volume. This is only 300 milliliters but if it's the same 390 grams this will cost about 47 pesos and this is Carnation which is the most expensive one 390 grams the same size the two are the same size and the price is about 57 so this is um, the most premium of them all let's take a close look at the texture the texture of Jersey it looks very watery and the color is light lighter than the other two if we look at Cowbell Cowbell is slightly thicker but it's still very runny in fact I think this is more runny than the jersey one but if you look at the most premium one it is carnation and you can see that the texture is quite thick now does it mean anything well by the look and the texture carnation is the best i would say cowbell is probably second best and then finally because it is just runny and the color is not as appetizing as the other two it is jersey now it is down to the taste jersey so to this, I need three ounces or 90 ml of fresh milk. And I'm going to add 30 ml of the condensed milk. I'm going to put them all together here and of course, top it up with our double shot of espresso. Next drink, it is using cowbell, the same recipe, 90 ml of fresh milk. Add 30 ml of condensed milk. This is using cowbell. And then our double shot of espresso. And finally, for our premium blend, it is going to be the same recipe yet again. It is 3 ounces or 90 ml of fresh milk. And this time we are going to use carnation. 30 ml of condensed milk. Now this is really, really thick. So much thicker than the other two. And then finally it is our double shot of espresso. Let's pour the drink into our glasses of ice here. So first, the color is good. The texture is also not too bad. Let's pour it into our glass here. Next one. Mm. 
And finally, And because this is Spanish latte, I'm going to top it up with milk foam. Spanish latte using three different types of condensed milk. It is now time for the moment of truth, and I'm going to call Christiana to help us with a taste test, and then we are both going to tell you, is there any difference using different brands of condensed milk? Welcome back again. Thank you. Hi. So here we have three different uh, Spanish latte drinks, different condensed milk brands, and I'm not going to tell you which one is more premium than the other, so you do the taste test. Do I have to mix it? Yeah, um, well actually there's no need to mix it because uh, I've already pre-mixed it. Okay. Right. Mmm, this, oh, this one's very sweet. Mm. Spanish like, latte is usually sweet. Yeah, yeah, but um, this one's like more sweet than what I'm used to. Like okay. what you used to make for me. Okay. Um, and it's got like, it's got like a, a bitter taste to it, like a caramelly taste to it. Okay, I'm going to try it too. Mm -hmm. This one's nicer. It's less sweet. Same, yeah, you put mm. the same amount, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a caramel taste, but more, more like, not like a, des a nice caramel dessert. It's like, um, like a metallic caramel. Yeah. I, I would agree, actually. It's yeah. like, there's something there that I cannot explain there's just a um, and it's got a sharp sweetness right yeah not so smooth this one's a lot smoother it's quite nice less sweet um yeah i'd, I'd be happy with that yeah this one it's is nice. uh smooth the taste of the coffee is good as well mm. right oh <laughs> mm. this one has that classic like carnation taste Oh, how do you know it's a carnation? carnation. <laughs> it's carnation. Yeah, it's just like carnation has a specific taste that's really nice. Mm. Tastes like toffee, like toffee, right. but a nice toffee, not like not like metallic caramel. Yeah. yeah, but I have to say, like, actually, my favorite one would be this one. Yeah, I, mm. like, is this mine, right? No, the yeah, the best one is yours, mm -hmm. and mine is the straight one. I mean, yeah, I think this is. This is like, your, anyone who has this and has had carnation before will know that it's made with carnation condensed, but this one kind of leaves you like guessing. Thinking. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's really yeah. nice. And you won't be able to tell that there's condensed in there. You wouldn't think of it. You, it, it tastes almost like syrup. Yeah. Would you say then that uh, just by changing the brand of the condensed milk, the taste each taste is different. Yeah, yeah, totally different. Right. Totally different. Mm. And I would completely agree with you, actually. I mean, we are um, used to carnation. In Thailand, we don't have this brand, which is Cowbell. Mm -hmm. um, I must say, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. My favorite, to be honest, is also this one. Yeah, it's the best one. And uh, in terms of price, the cheapest is Jersey. Um, I, I would say stay away from it. Yeah, would you say definitely that? Stay, stay away, away from, from it. it. Although it is cheap, but then it is, uh, it gives a very, very strange, odd almost taste um, that you cannot play. So it's not very Spanish latte. Whereas this one, surprisingly, is so smooth. It's you could smooth. taste the balance of the coffee and the milk. Um, yeah. And then the price is also in the mid range. Mm -hmm. But the carnation is typically carnation, distinctly carnation. Yeah, I would agree. I would go for, uh, if I would rank this one, I would go for the number one would be cowbell, save money, use cowbell. And then I would go for the carnation. This one is more expensive, but um, the only downside here is that it tastes so much like wet condensed milk. So yeah. as Christiana say, tone it down a bit. And this one is just, um, the price is, yes, very competitive, but if you just add a little bit more, your customers might come back for more. Can I smell it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. 
I mean, color-wise, texture-wise, yeah. um, definitely not the best one. Yeah, carnation is always going to smell nice. But personally, I would have a little less condensed milk as well, less sweet, but yeah. it, this one is really, really good, actually. Yeah, this yeah. is the commercial recipe. You can always adjust that according to your own preferences. And you should also give your customers the yeah, option to like make that. it less sweet all the time. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's our review of these three different brands of condensed milk. If you have any questions, do let us know. If you think differently, let us know as well. If you're using any, the, any of these three brands or other brands, do let us know as well. Do let everyone in the community know what your preferences are. Yeah, let, let everyone know. Let everyone know. <laughs> in the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button to let everyone know about Chow Coffee and Tea. We'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now. <laughs> so I was like, how many let anywhere?